next startup on stage is Refueler. Your next show, you're up to me. Hi guys, today you get to learn about the future of fuel trading. My name is Luigi Antonuccio. I am the co-founder of Refueler, a team based out of Australia. Uh, it's been hand-selected to make sure this project is delivered. In Australia, New Zealand, and a few of our other target um, countries, the price of fuel could fluctuate anywhere up to 30% at any given time without any given notice. <clears throat> Depending where we, as the consumer, buy our fuel, can have a, a big impact on our uh, weekly budgets. For the independent retailers, it can also hurt them. The prices are, are normally controlled by the larger chains. So independent uh, retailers suffer by having to sell their fuel at a, at a, at a loss uh, just to get foot traffic through the door. This is a typical 45-day fuel price cycle in my hometown of Adelaide, and it's very similar around the country. The market size of fuel app users around the world is over 250 billion, uh, million, sorry, and uh, they use these fuel apps to, to look at the, the cheapest price around their area so they can go and, and buy that fuel. So you're probably thinking, yes, there's so many apps out there, why do we need another app? These apps are great. You, uh, they're crowdsourced, so uh, being a user, you upload your fuel price, and you can have a look at other fuel prices and find the, the local fuel price, which is great, um, except if you're at work, you can't actually go get the fuel for that price. So, welcome to Refueler. Refueler will allow consumers to pre-purchase their fuel, taking advantage of the low price cycles and filling up at any time convenient to them within seven days. Refueler is a mutually beneficial platform designed to help both the consumers and the independent retailers. We have a comprehensive reward system where by shopping at any of our retail partners, you can earn fumes, which are transferred into, um, into fuel, which you can obviously redeem at any of our partner service stations. We're using blockchain mainly for the security and trans... Um, <clears throat> We're using blockchain for security and traceability of the fuel on our network. Don't be confused by all the tokens and all these fancy words because the end user will have no idea that the app's actually running on blockchain technology. Currently, we have MVP, which is um, being used in Victoria, Australia. We have 500 petrol stations ready to board our platform, a corporate partnership with the Motor Traders Association in Queensland, a strategic partnership with Servo Pro. We have 1,500 plus members. Thank you. It's now time for the Q&A. What, what is your uh, revenue generation plan on this, actually? We'll, we'll be taking one cent per litre of all fuel sold. That's uh, 32,000 megalitres of fuel sold in Australia every year. Uh, like, the merchant is going to pay for this, right? Correct. Thirty-two thousand megalitres. It's thirty-three billion litres of okay. fuel in the retail, so that doesn't include aeroplanes and and um, in industry and things. Thirty-three billion litres of fuel. The crowd. The <laughs> currently, uh, the guys. Most of these people are using some form of vouchers. Do they use vouchers? Any of these? Uh, your competitors, they're using vouchers to do these fuel things, right? Yeah, correct. So I can speak for Australia because I live there. There's two major retail uh, su supermarkets that offer a four cent discount if you spend X amount in uh, their store, which you have to, uh, but you have to use that discount at their petrol stations. So what we're doing is, is, is bringing it to the masses where anyone can be involved in um, giving out fuel discounts. And these fuel discounts can be redeemed at any of our partner retailers, but uncapped. So our, our users can actually earn full tanks of fuel, unlimited. The software you have shown before, uh, is that live? And how many are connected to this? And we, we just how launched. How can you think you can grow? Yep, so we just launched the app. It's actually being used, like I said, in, in Melbourne. Um, we, we, we're literally, 
it only just happened, so I can't say we, why we haven't um, expanded, but this is the stage where we're, we're an actual startup. Thank you.